This is a model of compact bone. The structures that you will need to know from this model, we're going to work our ways out from the outside and go in. So this is the outside. This gray layer here is representing the outer bone membrane, which is called the periosteum. So the periosteum contains osteoblast and osteoclast, and those, those cannot see, be seen here, but those uh, will help with the bone remodeling and appositional growth. Okay, so the periosteum, it's the outer bone membrane, contains osteoblast and osteoclast, responsible for appositional growth. Then when we move in, we have our what, what's called circumferential lamellae. So you could see lamellae is a term, a uh, fancy term for bony extracellular matrix. Okay, so when we talk about lamellae, it's actually this stuff here. It's not the cells or anything. It's the extracellular matrix of bone. That's lamellae. So lamellae here we could see it's called circumferential lamellae because it's going to wrap all the way around the entire bone along the outside. So then when we move in from our circumferential lamellae, and you can see those all run parallel to each other, we hit our osteons. Okay, so in compact bone, we say that the lamellae, which is the extracellular matrix, is organized in concentric rings. So you can see here's a ring, then the ring around that one, a ring around that one. So this is how compact bone is organized. This entire structure here, and it's also shown here um, with all the rings taken out, is referred to as an osteon. So this is a single osteon here. And so we see more than one osteons will all make up compact bone. In the center of each osteon, we have a little canal called the central canal. And through this, we'll run blood vessels um, and nerves. So we have the central canal here. And the little dots that you could see within the lamellae, those are osteocytes. Now, you could think the bone's some pretty harsh extracellular matrix, right? It's very calcified. Um, and so it's going to be very hard for nutrients to get in and out. So each of these osteocytes almost sit in their own little cradle or, or cocoon. So that term that we, that we find the osteocytes is called a lacunae. So right here would be an osteocyte, which is just a bone cell found in the lacunae, which is just an empty space that holds the osteocyte. So then working our way in, we see we so far covered the periosteum, the circumferential lamellae, the osteons, and if we work our way inside, so if this were a long bone, we would be working our way into the medullary cavity. So as you can see, on the inside, we have another one of these gray layers. And this one's the inner bone membrane called the end osteum. So it covers the medullary cavity, and you can see there's a little bit of spongy bone here. So it's going to be covering all of the inside of the bone. And again, the end osteum, just like the periosteum, has osteoblast and osteoclast that are responsible for bone remodeling. The bone, all bones are very dynamic. They're constantly building up and breaking down. However, it's in equilibrium to maintain a simple or a, the same bone shape and size. So what I mean by it's in equilibrium is that osteoblast activity, so the building of bone, is equal to osteoclast activity, the breaking down of bone. So if we have equal but opposite effects, we get no net change in the shape and size of the bone. So your endosteum and your periosteum have those cells, the osteoblasts that build the bone and the osteoclasts that break the bone. 
and those two layers are going to be responsible for bone remodeling. Also another way you might see the central canal is here is an osteon so you can see that here is like an osteon cut right down the middle and you can see the central canal carrying that blood vessel right down. So that's a central canal there. So otherwise, um, the only other structure, that, the only other thing that I could ask, so if we take a closer look here, um, we could see here it's just showing the empty spaces. So that's showing the lacunae that the osteocytes would sit inside. Um, over here, we can actually see, now this is the opposite side of the model. Over here we could see, here's some empty ones. But then we also have ones that are full of our osteocytes. Okay, so those are our osteocytes. They're going to be found in those structures, those cavities called lacunae. And then you can see that they look like they have little legs coming from them. Those little projections are cytoplasmic projections called pseudopods. And what they do, because like we said, bone extracellular matrix, all this, the lamellae out here, is calcified. It's very hard for things to get through, like nutrients and all of that, and waste. So what they do is they set up little canals between themselves called canaliculi, and I will show you those on the microscope. Um, so there's little canaliculi, which are basically tiny canals from one lacunae to the next, and then these osteocytes send their pseudopods through the canaliculi and that's going to help nutrient diffusion from one osteocyte to the next. So that concludes all that you have to know for this model. I'll take another look at it.